Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Shwaib Khan and welcome to MaxAfter.com. Today I've got a very uh, informative tutorial for you. Of course, it's uh, about a card dance effect. I must say that this effect is a very powerful effect because if you if you're doing a project and your client says that I want millions of pictures flying around in half an hour, so you've got two choices: either you just download millions of pictures and and make them fly one by one and it'll take you uh, a year to do that or you just simply use card dance effect and do the job so this is what uh, we will be doing in this tutorial today here it is check it out so as you can see millions of pictures flying around basically they're not millions they're just probably 50 pictures you know they're just flying around we will be doing um, another tutorial as well which is this one So let's start with this tutorial first because this uh, is easier to understand and then we can move on to the next one. Okay, let's first go to the images folder here and open it and we have got this image here. Let's drag it across and make a new comp. And uh, we go we come to effects and presets and write card dance. And we've got our card dance here. Uh, drag it across and put it on the image layer. So right now nothing is happening because we need to make few adjustments here. Uh, the first very important thing is gradient layer 1. Basically our main image here will react according to any image that is being loaded here because it will take the information from the image that is being loaded here and then of course react accordingly. So right now what we do is we load our image 1 uh, itself uh, into it and we come down to the main thing which is Z position. In Z position, what you need to do is, um, you of course, you need to change the source here. If you click here, if you click the intensity, basically it uses the intensity or brightness in gradient layer 1. Now if we adjust uh, this multiplier value here, will be multiplied by the pixel values that are contained in gradient layer 1. When you increase it, you'll see it has already reacted. So this whole thing uh, of uh, breaking of the picture is is because it's reacting to the image itself here. And if you put any other image, it will break according to that image. Basically, it's controlled uh, by the brightness and darkness of the image. Okay, now let's change the rows and columns. If you increase the rows, let's say to 50, you can see that uh, the pattern here has changed. And change this to, let's say, 50 as well. Okay, let's change this to 100 and change this to 80. We change this to 0 and we, we put a keyframe here, multiplier and offset. And then we move to, uh, let's say, 10 seconds and we change this to 100 and let's say to 80. Now, if you render, you'll see what I mean. So, as you can see, that this is how the picture breaks. So this is just uh, one panel we've played around with. The next thing what you can do is you can also you come down to material and you can increase the diffuse and the whole thing lights up as well. And again then you need to control it here as well. This is something that you can play around with and get good results. And also if you want to come to camera position and you can also rotate it like that picture is rotated here so of course uh, you need to adjust it here let's say if it's zero here and we put a keyframe and as it reaches 10 we put a keyframe here 50 so that it rotates as well when it breaks as you can see it's rotating slowly so basically this is how um, you can play around um, with the card dance effect of course this is exposition is exposition that can be changed as well uh, but it won't change because you need to change to intensity 1. Every time you make a change, you need to change to intensity 1. So as you can see, that if you move it, it'll move into X position. So it's going on the left hand side. So also Y position, you can change the Y position as well. These are the values that you can play around with and get good results. So this is how you can uh, play around with the card dance effects. Ba basically, I started with this tutorial because uh, so that we can understand how to use uh, the panel. Now let's go towards the main tutorial. Okay, let's start the main tutorial. And for this, we'll go and make a new comp here. We go to comp, new composition, 
and we choose 768 by 576 and 10 seconds we say OK. This time let's first start by making a new noise material. Make it comp size and say OK. And come here and type fractal noise. Just drag it across. We come here to the panel and adjust a few things here. And brightness minus 31. 